everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Keisha with Country Garden Oasis. So I want to do a new series. I post a lot on all the other social sites and sometimes I don't have time to do a full length video on YouTube. So what I want to do is have a sit down once a week and I'm calling it Garden Socials or Garden Social Recap. Tell me which names you like. Um, I'm pretty much what I'm doing is going through what I post on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, and talk about it a little bit more in depth with you guys. If you have any questions and go over questions that you've asked or comments that you've made. So let's jump into it. So the first video of the week, um, ginger grow along update. As most of you know, I'm doing a grow along with my friend Lonnie, Gingerfoot Gardener, on Instagram, and I'm growing ginger for the very first time. I'm really excited about this because I'm learning so much about ginger. Um, some of the things are great, some of the things not so great, because up until this point, I didn't know that what, all the pesticides they spray ginger with. But based on this, I'm happy I'm growing it. One of the things I have to tell you, because you know, I got some comments where people are saying, well, there's no way you can grow ginger. It does take nine months to grow. Hence the reason why I started back in January. And um, I think I'm making good progress here in mid-March. So this was me potting up the ginger into two smaller pots. And um, the roots on these things are amazing. I'm even shocked at how well they're doing. And so um, I, I can't wait to see the progress and how much ginger I'll get from this so I can share with my friends and family. Then let's move into video number two. My trip to Home Depot. I got my two dwarf peaches. So I really want fruit trees in my backyard, but I don't wanna be climbing trees to get my fruit. And the whole process of how to prune it, blah, blah, blah. I'm a lazy gardener. So I bought these two dwarf ornamental um, peach trees, which I'm going to put, I'm either gonna put them on each side of the grape arbor in the vegetable garden bed in pots. I'm gonna keep them in pots, that's the plan because my ultimate um, fruit tree plan is to do espalier, pear and apple trees, and maybe cherry, but I'm still on the fence about the cherry. So I can't wait to take you guys on that journey. They're sitting on my deck. I'm actually looking at them right now. I can't wait for them to bloom. I don't even wanna move them out to the garden. I'm leaving them on the deck so I can get to see you when they start blooming because the blooms are beautiful and they're pretty and pink. So anyhow. But yeah, I got these at Home Depot and funny enough, my girlfriend saw the video and she was like, oh my gosh, I want to get one too. So we went the following Sunday and um, grabbed a peach tree for her as well. So you may see me in her garden um, planting it. Up next, greenhouse update. I feel like it's coming together really, really well. Um, we have the door on. I, I opted for the glass door, like I was explaining in the video. Um, right now we're trying to finish the electrical and also all the, um, we're gonna do insulation. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really excited about the greenhouse. Um, we finally picked out, we're gonna do cabinets um, on one end, so I have storage. And I can't wait to share the decor with you. I'll do a full length video on the greenhouse itself so you guys can have some ideas of what I'm doing and perhaps share what you guys are doing or are thinking about as well as, I think I wanna do a cost breakdown because the whole point why we are building our own greenhouse is the mere fact that when we first started the project, I wanted to do one of those glass greenhouses, not like a Hartley, <laughs> like Laura from Garden Answer. That was like way out of my budget. 
but I want I investigated and I found a couple of glass greenhouses and the cost still blew me away and my husband said to me well why don't we just build it what is it that you need I said I need lots of light so I can do windows I started researching and found that you know a lot of people use um, old windows to make greenhouses and since we were doing construction anyway and every quote I got said that I would still have to do the base and I would still have to do the half wall myself with their cost on top of it so we opted to do it ourselves and it's coming along and I'm really proud of the progress that we've made so more to come on that um, we will um, look at that in its own video I promise I'll do a full-length video um, next up are my Costco roses so these shocked the heck out of me so typically I go to the garden center and I buy roses in a pot I no, I'm lying I bought bare root roses so in the very early days when I really did not think gardening through all the way I had bought these bare root roses and where I planted them was an epic fail and I bought a lot of them I got it on sale and I thought whoopsie do but we've come a long way since then anywho so I got these roses at Costco and I did a poll which was kind of cool I saw that folks were um, voting out how many of you um, actually have bought their roses at Costco now to my surprise what I loved about this is the fact that they started leafing out I was like what am I going to do so what I ended up doing I have a video which should be coming out sometime this week where I show you how I pot them up and they look really good and so I think this might be the route I'm going because I want a rose garden and I'm not a hundred percent sure how and what I want to do so this will give me some sense of let me test it out this year and I'm probably just gonna put regular annual plants in the area where I want the rose garden and if these work out and they're really good I can really create a beautiful rose garden using Costco roses and more bare root roses let's talk about ginger again so I came across this video where they were talking about um, hormone regulators what they use to spray the ginger and I was so fascinated because I found this after I started doing the grow along channel challenge I was very disappointed I was like oh my god what are we putting into our bodies um, for me personally I think it's important I know what's going into my body and that's why gardening is so important to me granted on the flower side we know why it's important to me because I just love flowers but um, I'm so happy I'm doing the grow along because I don't want these chemicals in my body and neither should you and if you have to buy ginger and it's not organic my advice is to wash it thoroughly peel it so that um, that will help a little so but when in doubt buy organic and to round out the night one the thing I was most excited about my friend Diane um, invited me to orchid night at the New York Botanical Garden last night well Saturday so this video is gonna come out today when I say this was pure magic it was pure magic first of all I am originally from New York and I probably been to the New York Botanical Garden in the Bronx maybe once maybe 20 something years ago I forgot how large this place was but let me tell you it's like we stepped out of cold winter here in New York and stepped into the tropics it was divine it was like I I didn't want to leave now here's what's funny if you're from New York you should definitely check this out but one thing I'm gonna tell you the line to get in even though we bought tickets and everything the line wrapped around the building and it's a massive building so it's kind of cold dress warm be comfortable 
um, but it's well worth it. Well, well worth it. The amount of orchids that I came across, and I'm a big orchid person, but there were types that I've never seen before. But just the way it's laid out, it just blows your mind. So that wraps up our social recap. I think we're going to call it social garden recap. Put a comment below which one you like. I will update based on that. I'm really excited about this that I get to share in more detail the why behind the 15 second videos. So that way you have more meat and potatoes as to the why and then you can ask me even more questions over here so thank you so much for watching please remember to like and subscribe if you like this content i will be willing to add even more thanks again have a great day bye